Welcome back to your daily dose of Dead by Daylight Opinions. No Ed is a crutch perk, and anyone who runs it clearly has to rely on an in-game perk to win the game, rather than their own skill. It also shows your priority is more on the end of winning, rather than having fun. Thank you for stopping by, and remember, these are just opinions. If you stay in the trial to teabag at the exit gate after everyone else has left, what's wrong with you? Do you actually have nothing better to do? You literally have no friends and think you're cooler than you actually are. You can't hold a relationship because no one will ever want to be with a sad, sad, lonely person like you. Or you're just a dick, one of the two. Thank you for stopping by, and remember, these are just opinions. Welcome to the first edition of What Your Survivor Main Says About You. Brutally honest edition. First up our Nancy Main, so strap in and get ready. First, I would like to preface, I mean no hate. I'm sure you are all wonderful people. But this is the brutally honest edition, okay? I don't make the rules. Anyway, why are y'all the worst teammates I have ever seen who ironically think they're the best? I mean seriously. When I load in a game as killer, I am ecstatic when I see a Nancy because I know you're definitely not getting out alive. Why? Overconfidence on you all is just... Ugh. Apologies to Nancy Mains everywhere, I love you, I'm sorry. Which survivor do you want to see get the brutally honest treatment next? Comment down below and remember, these are just opinions. NFTs are fucking stupid. That's it. End the video. This ain't Dead by Daylight opinions right now. This is Dead by Daylight facts. So fucking stupid. Can I say something to y'all without anyone getting mad at me? Can you promise me right now, no matter what I'm about to say, you won't hold it against me? Please? Pinky promise? Okay, cool. Let me tell you my strongest opinion about Dead by Daylight. It's a secret, though. So you gotta come in close. Closer? Closer? Okay. Ready? And there go the comments. Okay, look, I gotta get out of here and remember they are just opinions. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Welcome back to another episode of What Your Survivor Main Says About You. And we received a lovely comment on which survivor we should do next. And they say, honestly, this is so cute. Quentin would be a nice touch. Um, yeah, yeah, let me just, <laughs> let me just hop right into it. Uh, yeah, Quentin, uh, hang on, what the hell is a Quentin? What, what is that? Oh, oh, Quentin, yes, Quentin Mains. You all exist? Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember to leave a comment on which survivor you want to see next. We will be taking tomorrow off for the holidays, so we wish you all nothing but the best during this holiday season. And remember, they are just opinions. If your killer build consists of Ruin, Undying, and Tinkerer, congratulations! You are in fact running the small PP build. Thank you so much for stopping by and... 
Oh. You survivor mains didn't think you were getting out of this one, did you? If your survivor build consists of DS, Unbreakable, and Deadheart, congratulations! You're also running the small PP build. Thank you so much for stopping by, and remember, they're just opinions. Welcome back to your daily dose of Dead by Daylight opinions. We have a special guest joining us on the show today. Please give a warm welcome to Jack, the Dead by Daylight expert. Now, Jack, how often do you play Dead by Daylight? Um, five, five times. Do you like playing Dead by Daylight? No. Are you even qualified to be considered an expert? No. Perfect. Who's the best killer in DVD? Deathslinger. Who's the worst killer in DVD? Spirit. What's your favorite perk? Gearhead. Why? Because I can, like, see people doing stuff. Is Dead by Daylight even a good game? No. What killer would you like to see in DVD? Thanos. Ah! Put together this tier list for me. Done. Is Dead by Daylight killer or survivor sided? Killer sided. Should Dead by Daylight collab with Animal Crossing? Yes. Will you play DVD with me later tonight? No. And there you have it, folks. And remember, these are just opinions. Some Dead by Daylight fans on Twitter will literally say, Fuck you, behavior! You are the most ignorant game company in the world! Shut down immediately! DVD is the worst game I've ever played! I hope your family starve, I hope you lose all your licenses, and I hope you all die! And then turn around and tweet, No hate here. It's just constructive criticism. DVD is one of my favorite games, and I just want to give them pointers on how to make it better. Where the fuck is the constructive criticism? Thank you so much for stopping by, and remember, they're just opinions. Only the nastiest, stinky, stinkiest, gross, smelly, just so foul, the foulest looking person you've ever seen, so damn gross, just reeks of sweat and, and mucus. The kind of people who only say GG when they win. I know, I know. Those, those are the kind of people who use stretch res on DVD. Also, I can't believe y'all passionately stand by the argument that you only use stretch res because you like how it looks. Huh? Thank you so much for watching and remember, they're just opinions. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope 2022 is a fantastic year for all of you. And instead of an opinion today, I want to hear something from you. If you had to come up with a New Year's resolution for DBD, what would it be? Let me give an example. Mine is going to be to try to spice up my builds on Killer and Survivor. Once I make a build, I find I never change it up. It just stays the same way forever. I'm also going to try to pick less meta perks and be more crazy and pick some more unique ones. Focus less on winning and more on having fun. So let me know in the comments what your DVD resolution is and have a wonderful 2022. I usually like to voice my opinions in my own words, but the following was so well put that I couldn't explain it any better. This, Mr. Jackman, I love you. They sent me to Haddonfield, and within 20 seconds, literally three boon totems were activated, spread across the map. This isn't skill. This is an impossible situation for the killer. As they are now, boons need massive changes. There is just no way they should be allowed to carry on existing as they are. Against decent survivors, you can't hit a few people for pressure anymore, because you are literally wasting your time. The second or third person you hit in that group situation are going to run away and reset for free. Anyone who is good at killer knows that if you lose pressure, you lose the game. Boons negate spread, damage, group, pressure. I propose that snuffing a boon destroys the totem. Every subsequent time you bless a totem, its range decreases by 4 meters. Healing in a boon totem takes 6 seconds longer. I promise you, 
In a game whose killers consist of a clown, a cowboy, a drug addict, angsty teens, a thick pyramid head, a K-pop star, a fetus, the fucking Demogorgon, and a literal bird lady, Springtrap would not be out of place. Thank you so much for stopping by, and remember, they're just opinions. A common argument for the DVD community is when the controversy of one perk is brought up, the immediate counter argument is to point out a different controversial perk in hopes to justify the original. For example, man, I sure hate Noed, but, but survivors have dead hard DS and Unbreakable and now Boon Totem, so Noed is justified. Hey, I'm not talking about those perks. Yes, other perks suck and might be broken, but that doesn't mean one perk is in a healthy state due to another perk being in a not-so-healthy one. Thank you so much for stopping by, and remember, they're just opinions. I'm just gonna hop into it. Lightborn will not and or doesn't need a nerf. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Of all the perks in the game to get upset about, you want to go after Lightborn? Who cares about Lightborn? Now, there were people complaining about it, and then it kind of became a joke. You know, it was funny to say, oh, nerf Lightborn and all. But I still see people consistently demand it be nerfed. And I'm going to be honest, I can't tell who's joking and who's being for real anymore. In other news, did you see the pig tone trailer that came out today? Dude, that was so freaking cool. Oil over. Oil over broke me. What were they thinking? This is all the proof I need to know that behavior does not play test nor understands their own game. The PTB even showed just how bad you can exploit the perk and they just launched it anyway. The next time behavior tweets out that they listen to feedback, don't, don't believe that bullshit. Thanks for stopping by, I guess, and remember, uh, this ain't an opinion. This is a fact. Welcome back to your daily dose of Dead by Daylight opinions. So this week I finally got a key to the closed beta for VHS, an asymmetrical survivor horror game with four survivors and one monster. I'm not going to take the short time I have to explain the game, but if you're interested, I highly recommend you check out some other videos. What I do want to say is this game is something really special, and it's definitely going to be a hit when it comes out. This is not some home sweet home survive, and as much as some people like it, I can't get into prop night. This is the kind of game that will give DBD some competition. Is this game going to kill DBD? Absolutely not. But what it is doing is making me choose, hmm, do I want to play DBD or VHS right now? When the answer used to only be DBD because that's all I had. Competition is healthy for both games sake because it'll keep both studios on their toes. Welcome back to what your Survivor main says about you. All you Kate mains are in the spotlight now, and lucky for you, I have a former Kate main here to share her thoughts on the matter. So you literally can't disagree with me. Kate mains, bless their little hearts, always have the right intentions. But generally, they're just not very good. Thank you so much for stopping by, and remember, they're just opinions.
first impressions of the Ringu chapter are mostly positive. Please note I will not be explaining the new killer's power because I only have 60 seconds. With that said, wonderful animations and design to be expected. Hashtag DBD art team does nothing wrong. She's definitely a map pressure killer who can specialize in tracking survivors and can occasionally throw them off with their teleport and manifest power. I've seen a few people try the hit and run strategy with her. The condemned aspect of her power is okay, I guess. I've been hearing a lot of people compare it to Pig's jigsaw boxes you have to search and that maybe you'll get value out of it. She's a very complex killer that everyone is still trying to figure out. And it's the PTB, so everyone's kind of messing around and a lot of games aren't serious, so it's hard to tell. But for right now, if I had to put her in a tier list, I'd say low A or high B tier. Again, she's been out for like eight hours, so take this as a very base first impression. Ha 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 